Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be checking out the brand new Intrigger drum replacement plugin from Waves Audio. Now, this is a bit of a different offering from Waves, and I'm excited to check this plugin out because I do a lot of drum sample replacement when I'm mixing drums. And typically, I'll use either the Logic built in drum replacement feature or I'll use Slate Trigger, which is obviously the big dog in this particular field. However, both of these approaches have their own issues, and both of them can be quite fiddly in different ways. But Waves Audio have come up with a new solution which they say is smarter is faster and makes drum replacement a two-click process. They also say that Intrigger is drum replacement finally done right, which is great news if it's true. But are they telling the truth? Let's find out. So I have these drums here which sound like this. So they sound pretty good, but I feel like they can have way more depth to them. Just by adding some samples, we can give us some more beef, a bit more character and a bit more fatness. So let's start with this snare top mic. The snare is often a good place to start when it comes to drum sample replacement, because then it kind of defines the tone for the rest of the kit. So let's take a listen to what this snare top mic sounds like on its own. It's got a nice hit to it. The snare itself sounds really nice, but you'll hear there's a lot of bleed going on there. There's quite a lot of cymbal noise, some hi-hat, some kick bleeding into that mic, which we typically want to clean up before we do any drum sample replacement. But the great thing about Intrigger is we can actually do this from within the plugin. So if I bring up an instance of Intrigger here, you'll see that the window loads up like this. And if we click this learn function and play the track back, what that's going to do is just take a few seconds to learn the transient hits, define what it thinks is a snare and what it thinks is not a snare. And then it's going to apply a noise gate to this to clean up those hits. Let's take a listen to that. So you see now we have these blue markers and these red markers and the blue markers are the transients for the snare or what at least the plugin thinks are the transients for the snare and the red is everything else. And this works great just as a noise gate if we take a listen to what this is doing. That's super effective just as a gate. It sounds a bit dead and a bit unnatural, but if we want to clean that up, all we have to do is go to this drop down here where it says onset gate. And now we've got attack, hold and release controls for that gate. And we can just tidy this up to make it sound a bit more natural and give that snare a bit more of its original length. Great, yeah, that works really well. Just as a, If you want just the noise gate, you've kind of got it in this plugin. You'll notice that it also picked up this kick drum here, here and it thinks that it's a snare and it's really easy to correct this. All we do is just click on that blue marker. It brings up the tick, which means yes, it's a snare, but we don't want it to be. So we click on it again. We've got a red cross next to it. Now it's going to discard that and it's not going to read that as a snare anymore. Then we just click resume and it's going to get rid of that. It's not going to start triggering on that anymore. So now let's add some layers and add some fatness to this using samples. If I click on this drop sample here, it's going to bring up this window down the bottom and we can either drag a sample directly into this. We can load a sample from Finder or we can use Cosmos, which is kind of Waves answer to Splice. It's a sample finder which is built into the plugin and you're going to get a whole bunch of samples which sound great and we can load them into this and use these to replace the original snare sound. So if I go up to these tags up here, I can click snare, for example, let's go acoustic. Let's also change the view so that we get more on the screen. And if I just play this back, you can hear some of the samples. So 
So this one's cool. I actually favorited this sample earlier. If you click the little star up here, you can see your favorites. And that'll just create a list of all your favorite samples if you want to come back to samples. Then all we need to do is just drag this into this sample window down here, close Cosmos. And now we can manipulate this sample as we like using all these different functions. So the first thing is over here, we have this blend between the trigger and the source. And what that's going to do is basically change the balance between the original snare sound and the added sample. So you hear that sample is quite quiet. If I just turn this up a bit. And then it's also really easy to manipulate this sample. I can go down here to this sample window and I can add a fade to it. I can change the end time. I can change the start time just by dragging around and that makes things so easy. We've got another kick hit there that we don't want. So let's just get rid of that. It's so much easier to operate this plugin than some of the others. One there as well, get rid of that. Couple more kicks that we don't want, clean them up. It's just so fast, it's so easy. That sounds really good. We can add more layers to this as well. If we want to add another sample, go back to Cosmos, let's find something different. We can also bring up this mixer over here and this allows us to do things like invert the phase of the samples, change the balance of the samples a bit easier. It's really easy to navigate and really easy to quickly add samples and get them sounding good. We also have this humanized feature over here as well, which is gonna make it sound more human. It's gonna make the drum sound less static, less like samples. And what that's doing is following the velocity of the original snare hit. So if I have it cranked all the way up, it's gonna really follow the velocity. It's gonna sound much more human. So every time that there's a softer hit, it's gonna be a softer sample. And every time we have a harder hit, harder sample, vice versa. And if we go all the way the other way, it's not gonna follow the velocity of that original snare at all. And there's gonna be consistent individual hits. So you can fine tune that in depending on how realistic you want those samples to sound. I'm just gonna leave it somewhere in the middle for now. So let's try it with the kick. Let's try adding a bit more weight and a bit more low end to that kick drum. We'll bring up another instance of in trigger and let's learn that kick drum track.
again, the gate itself is just great on its own. So let's add a sample. Let's go back to Cosmos again. And let's see what we've got. This time, let's go kick. And let's take a listen to that. Let's try this one. Let's drag that in. Yeah, it sounds fat. Let's add another layer to that just to give it a bit more character, maybe. Maybe something with a little bit more length. And then let's filter some low end out of that kick. Then let's maybe change the humanized level of that sub kick so that it stays really solid. So if we turn that all the way down, it's not going to follow the velocity at all. So it's going to be consistent low end on that sample. Then we can turn this one up a bit so that, that added sort of roomy sample is going to follow the velocity of the original kick a bit. Yeah, it sounds so fat. Let's take a listen to that on and off. Bear in mind, there's like a little bit of a lag between the plugin activating and then the audio syncing back up, but you can hear what a difference this is making. It's just so quick and easy. I'm blown away by how easy it is to get the samples in, get them sounding good, get them blended in. And there's so much more that this plugin can do. I'm really just scratching the surface level to show you how quick and easy this plugin is to use, but we can go way deeper with this. There's so many more features that we haven't explored in this video, but that's just a basic drum replacement, even as a gate, like it sounds great, but basic drum replacement, it's so much quicker with this plugin. Waves Online, it can be a two-click process. It is something completely different. And I do think, as I said at the top of this video, this can replace the other processes that I've been using, be it Slate Trigger or the built-in drum replacement in Logic. It is quicker. It is, I think it's better. 
I love what it's doing. I definitely recommend checking this out. If you're doing a lot of drum replacement, you want your drums to sound fatter, you want to add more samples to live drums, whatever it may be, you could do this with loops. You know, this, this detector thing is great. We could use this to like find the hits in a loop and add samples to them. There's so much possibility with this plugin. I do genuinely think it is something different and it's really interesting. So go and check it out now. I recommend give it a go for yourself. I do think that this is going to be a bit of a game changer plugin. I think it's amazing. I think it works really well. And if you do want to check it out, you can do so on the affiliate link, which I've left in the description below. Any purchases or whatever you make through that are going to support this channel. It's going to keep me doing things like this, it's going to keep it going. And I, I do appreciate any of that support. So please do check it out on the link in the description below. Before you go though, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of Intriga and I'll see you next time.